Hello once again, good friends. Welcome new subscribers. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're working on a 2012 Ford Mustang, restoring and detailing the inner fender wells before replacing Vossen wheels with restored OEM Ford Mustang wheels that are supposed to be on there. And we will be installing MGP caliper covers. Let's get started. We're detailing the inner fender wells of the 2012 Ford Mustang today. We have all types of materials. We have plastic, we have the felt inserts for the inner fender well, we have different types of metals. We want to get everything nice and clean and tidy under here before we put on the caliper covers and replace the wheel. The first thing I'm going to go after in here are the inserts, these felt inserts for the inner fender well. I have fabric softener cut four to one and we're just going to spray the area that has the felt. What that does for me is it just gets these uh, the fabric, the fibers to relax just enough that I can grab the vac and remove some of the bigger chunks and even some of the smaller chunks. Nice little tip. Already looking much, much better in this area. We're going to move on to the next step. We have the chief steamer warming up over here. We're first going to blow any loose dirt particles, um, any remaining loose grit or dirt particles from the area. Then we will attach the horsehair brush and we'll go even further. Next step, we'll be using the Griot's Garage Air Foamer and Cupion 
9.3. This is their heavy duty industrial cleaner. One, maybe two ounces at most in the container with warm water and we're ready to go. Not bad so far at this step of the uh, cleaning process, but let's finish it off with the air foamer. Just a nice, even layer over all the parts here. This is a dry foam. So we have a nice thick layer, we're going to let it dwell for a few minutes, come in, agitate it, and blow it off with the steamer. I'll come in and use this bigger brush for the felt. And I'll use the smaller detail brush for the rest. Then I'll simply come in with the steamer and knock off anything we might have pulled loose with any of the brushes. Okay, now we're going to dry things up a bit and I'm going to use the air pulse gun. Once dried, there are many, many directions you can take from there. Uh, sometimes I'll just dress it. I'll use the Manette's Mega Shine. Uh, sometimes with the felt inserts on the inner fender wells, I'll use a fabric coat 
to help blast uh, and make cleaning easier for uh, return maintenance cleanings. Sometimes I'll use Cupion 2.0 or whatever other coating, Eclipse. Sometimes I'll spray the Sonax uh, wheel rim shield up in there uh, for some protection. Now we have a squeaky clean inner fender well. You can go from there. It's cleaned, it's dressed, it's protected. Next we'll put the MGP caliper cover on there, replace the wheel, and we can move on. Okay my friends, that is going to do it. There are many ways to detail that area. That's the way I do it. If you have any questions on the process or the tools we use today, please don't hesitate. When you are finished cleaning and you have it perfectly clean in that area, there are many ways to go from there. You can just dress it all the way up to some type of professional ceramic protection or coat in that area. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.